G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a bit of a mail call. Got some mail from one of my subscribers, a viewer in the PO box, in this envelope here. So I wanted to open it on camera and see what he sent me. I'm pretty sure I know what it is uh, for part of it because we did a bit of a coin swap. But I've also got a new the, the new baby coin set from the Royal Australian Mint and a couple other little pieces of internet purchase mail. So we're going to get through that. So let's have a look. Get into this. Uh, get into this mail first. Uh, it doesn't have any incriminating evidence on the back of it, so that's good. So we'll see if we can be very sneaky and slit it open from the top with a bit of scissor work. Should be fairly easy. Yes. And oh, we've got two dollar coins. Oh, two dollar coins and a and a one dollar coin. That's fantastic. So. Did a bit of a swap with, uh, a, with a, uh, a viewer. He had uh, or he needed something that he hasn't been able to find. It probably you know, wouldn't take him a very long time to find it and would be maybe too expensive to buy it. So we did a bit of a coin swap. So I sent him coins and he sent me coins. And the coins that he sent me are this very, very nice uh, Flanders Fields there on the table as well as this very, very nice oh, Remembrance coin that I that I need for the book, but it's not going to go into the book, but I don't have very many of those at all. And then he sent me something that is very topical uh, and will probably make a lot of people laugh, but it is the big swoop. The big swoop from the Aussie uh, Big Things uh, collectible series uh, that I need for the book. And... Unfortunately, and he knows this as well, unfortunately, I can't put uh, coins that people sent to me in the mail into the book just because of the channel rules, the rules that I made up for myself. I uh, only put, only put uh, coins into the book that I found noodling on, on video. So this will be great for my collection because I don't have any other of these. It will be my first one in the wider collection. But that is the big sweep from Canberra. Fantastic. Thank you very much for that. And then we've got a very, very nice looking remembrance coin. This is one of the coins that I'm looking to find in my $2 hunt, the 2017 Rosemary for Remembrance. Very, very nice looking coin. It's got the word remembrance up the top there amongst the flowers. It's actually quite hard to see. You don't know it's there. It's quite hard to see. And then it's got $2 denomination. So it's a very, very nice coin, the Rosemary. Uh, I was there amongst the green foliage. It's a very, very nice looking coin. And the other one is a Flanders Field, the orange coin of the Flanders Field. This is a 2015 uh, coin with the poem, the Flanders Field in the background there with the larks uh, flying along. It's not seagulls, not owls, they're larks. So very, very nice. Thank you very much, very, very much for that. Much appreciated. That made me laugh quite a bit. Thank you, Thank you indeed. We'll see if we can put it up there on this shot the other thing that i picked up very recently was the baby coin uncirculated set this is a new royal australian mint product release it's only just come out in the, probably in the last three weeks i was at the coin store and i picked up a set and i think i've talked about this in one of my uh coin news videos this year because it's a little bit different from the baby coin sets that we've had in the past Previously, we usually get uh, most of the don denominations with the regular uh, obverse, uh, reverses, the normal uh, standard designs. But, and then uh, usually they put two, maybe three um, baby themed coin designs on the reverses. But this year, for the first time, all of the six coins in the set are the baby designs. So. We have the baby plushy echidna there. We have the um, marionette lyrebird. We're trying to get it into decent uh, focus in the light. Then the 20 cent coin is the plushy platypus as well. And the 50 cent are the two uh, toy kangaroo and emu. The plushy mob of roos, toy mob of roos, and then the young Aboriginal child with the mobile being the Federation stars there. So, and obviously 
the baby set always has a, a medallion of some kind and this is in the previous baby sets you can actually get the medallion out and engrave it with your, uh, if you're giving it to uh, a grandchild or a niece or a nephew or another child you could engrave it on the back this is encased in the plastic so you can't actually do that but uh, there it is it's just a medallion and then we have the King Charles III effigy on all of the coins so again first time we've seen that on the baby coins and so these are very very nice gift sets if you want to give them to your grandchildren or presents for people who've had new babies I keep them because they are individually um, different coins and I love that baby set uh, coins and so it becomes part of my uncirculated collection the baby coins from 2024 I think if you watched any of my previous mail hunt videos the 2023 set was gifted to me by my wife uh, on my birthday last year but then I got a couple of other pieces of mail just a little bit of uh, again internet purchases for my wider collection to make sure that I'm keeping up with uh, the things that I'm collecting and mostly I'm collecting the uh, uncirculated uh, coin sets so here I've got one of those that I picked up for the wider collection to flesh out my uncirculated coin set in this instance it is uh, this is the mining this is 2013 Australian mining two coin set this is a, not a bad little set 2013 there you can pause on it if you want to read the specifications we have one dollar coin and a 20 cent coin um, aluminium bronze uh, mintage is no more than 40,000 uh, Alexandra Stockick is the designer the hologram the Royal Australian Mint hologram there so the Australian mining two coin set we go I'll read the spiel early mining in early mineral discoveries did make their mark on the fledged, fledgling Australian colony however it was the 1850s gold rush that had the biggest impact on the nation's economy, population, and identity. Ha Edward Hargraves' find near Bathurst, New South Wales, caused gold fever, which attracted thousands of prospectors, and further riches were uncovered in the soils and streams of Victoria, Western Australia, and Queensland. Settlements that housed the diggers, such as Impey, Ballarat, and Kalgoorlie, have become thriving towns and cities, and mining has grown to become the backbone of Australia's primary industry. So we've got Australia's mining, and we've got a dump truck there, and an old timey miner wind up plain shaft rope and then we've got two very very nice coins Let's see if we can get really good uh, shots of those then we've got 20 cent piece has one of those big big diggers big massive um, automated hole sometimes iron ore diggers with massive big buckets that turn and turn and turn and drill uh, into the side of the mountains and stuff it's got Australian mining around there and then on the other one the one dollar coin there's a very nice coin indeed we have discovery of gold and we've got a, a minor panning can we see that it's the best angle we can get there that's too flashy we have it very very nice coin very nice looking bit of kit doesn't have a preview mark on it but it is an uncirculated coin hasn't come out anywhere else as, as the uh, spiel on the back says let, uh, no more than 40,000 I, I would have to uh, go and look in my Renix book to see how much they were and I'll, maybe I'll put it down here uh, to tell you exactly what the mintage on that one was but this is in great condition two coin set from 2013 I'm trying to get all those two coin sets out there that's a fantastic pickup that I got rid of the pink uh, bit of packaging there and let's see what we've got in our last one and this will be another uh, uncirculated set I'm trying to fill up my uh... yep, this is probably it's not a particularly um, expensive one this one and quite heavily minted this is the 1998 uncirculated set with Bass and Flinders. So it's a commemorative set. A bit of a spiel there, you can pause on that. So, yes, Bass and Flinders, the commemorative 50 cent piece design for that, 1998. If you watch my noodles, you'll hear that quite often, it's quite common. 
um, and then all the rest are the standard designs. The 1998. No particular momented one in relation to that. If there is, I'll put it up here. There is. Queen Elizabeth II there with the um, Raphael McClough effigy. That's very nice, and that'll fill a gap in my uncirculated set collection. If you've seen my whole collection video, you would have seen that I've got a whole heap of years and I'm missing just a couple of streaks here and there, filling in one of my streaks. That was about it. Didn't want to go too deep into today's video. I just wanted to show the two coins, or what I thought was two coins, I was getting in a swap from a subscriber or viewer. Very nice coins there indeed thank you very very much for that I'm much appreciated it makes me laugh the big sweep thank you very much but that's all I've got for today thank you very much for watching if you enjoy what I do please think about subscribing to the channel we'll see lots more of my review videos as well as my new ones. leave a comment down below what you think of the baby coins if you want to get that or if you have someone that you could possibly buy it for a little bit more expensive than the normal uncirculated set again because of the coins but there it goes I will be back for more noodling in a couple of days so I'll see you then bye